This is a lesson in three, and today we're doing liquid crystal displays. LCDs rely on two major principles to work, polarized light and liquid crystals. LCDs have some light source behind the screen that creates the light for the display. When light is generated from a light source, it comes out in all directions with no organization. A polarizing filter acts like a set of blinds. It has thin slots that allow the light to pass through, but blocks any of the light that isn't going through in the direction of these slots. After passing through the polarizing filter, the lights are now organized into very thin streams that are all facing in the same direction. Although the light coming through the polarizing filter would look no different to you, it allows for a very special effect using another polarizing filter. If you place another filter at 90 degrees to the first one, all this light that has now been organized into thin streams can no longer pass through this filter. That's because all the light streams are facing one direction, but this new filter only allows light to pass through in another direction. Now this is where the principle of liquid crystals come into play. Liquid crystals naturally have a spiral structure that the light will follow. This allows the streams of light that have been organized by the first filter to be rotated so that they can fit through the second filter without being interrupted. Now this on its own does nothing for display, because all that's happening is it's allowing light to pass through two polarized filter and display the same way it would appear without the filters. However, Applying an electric current to these liquid crystals slowly undoes their spiral structure and turns it into a straight structure. This then causes the light from the first filter to go straight and not be able to pass through the second filter, turning the light off. What makes this even better is that applying a small electric current only slightly undoes the spiral structure and allows some of the light to pass through the filter. This then allows the amount of light let through to be controlled by a simple electric current. Now that you can control the amount of light let through, you have to control the colors of the light that's let through. Most people know that the picture on a television or any display is broken up into small pieces called pixels and each pixel contains a single color. What most people don't realize, however, is that each of these pixels is broken up into three sub-pixels. One is red, one is blue, and one is green. Each one of these sub-pixels has liquid crystals behind it that are controlled by a separate electric current. This allows the amount of each light let through to be controlled on its own. Because these sub-pixels are so close together, your eye perceives them as a single color, depending on how much of each one is let through. Many people are confused by the difference between an LCD and an LED screen. In reality, an LED screen is simply a liquid crystal display, or LCD, that uses LEDs as a backlight in order to save energy because an LED is much more efficient than most other lighting sources. By using an electric current, LCDs are able to control the structure of a liquid crystal which the light follows. This is then placed between two polarized filters which allow different amounts of light through depending on how the filters are aligned. Those are the basic principles behind LCDs. This has been a lesson in three by Uber Fast Facts. Thanks for watching.